The UN is now contradicting that directly, saying that there's no conclusive evidence. And, and perhaps to move the conversation slightly forward, Samit, I'm curious, based on all of this, regardless, we could sit here and argue about whether red lines make sense, whether they're meaningful at all in this debate, um, in the context of how tragic and how much destruction is actually happening separate from the chemical weapons. But mm -hmm. do you think then the next logical step is American airstrikes, a no-fly zone, something like we saw in Libya? I mean. What needs to happen from the West or from the regional powers that isn't already happening, in your opinion, Samad? If any well, I think, um, <clears throat> I think there is no next logical step, to be completely honest. And I think this is uh, why, the, why the administration boxed itself in when it talked about a red line. The assumption was, as, exactly as you implied, that right. once a, a happened, then a co consequence B would happen. I think there's absolutely no appetite in the West. I certainly I live in the United States. I certainly know there's very little to any appetite um, uh, for for an intervention in Syria, I think that there's a very real concern about what sort of uh, forces uh, that would unleash. Um, I think that. Uh, in terms of in terms of Western action, Western inaction here, let us not forget that the West has been quite active in trying to extract um, uh, the kind of political and, and security elite from the regime. It hasn't been successful. Uh, the, the West has tried all sorts of uh, you know different political pressures, different economic pressures. This has not been successful. They are in fact turning a blind eye to the arming of of the rebels uh, in Syria. So they, they, they might not be actually doing it and supplying the weapons, but they're certainly complicit in it. Right. Um, and I, and I, but I, th I think, ju just, to, just to kind of wrap the bow around the question of, of action versus inaction, the, the problem is that there isn't an, an agreement on um, what people expect the day after to look like. And so the Obama administration, as far as I understand, is committed to a political settlement to the, to the uh, conflict. Uh, as far as I gather, a political settlement cannot be induced by bombs and no, no fly zones and troops on the ground and so on. Um, the cynic in me believes that the only time, the only thing that will bring the West into kind of more direct intervention, whether a no-fly zone or troops on the ground or anything like that, uh, will be when the, the uh, scales, if you will, of the conflict uh, tip towards one group or another.